certainly thudded home there. Been fighting since he was 11 years old. At 21 wins in 27 as an amateur. Won the GB Youth title back in 2017, and the elites a couple of years later went on to fight in the European Championships and the Worlds and turned pro, came over in 2020. And there's a little bit of a buzz about him. Good work again to the head and to the body. From Franken. Oh, good right hand over the top there from him, and then he whips that right hand downstairs again, does Franken. That's good work, switching the attack. Just got to set up the attacks behind the jab, behind the lead hand. There he was there, and there's the right hand over the top. Plenty of variety, switching attacks from head to body, as Ritchie points out. Petronich won on his debut, incidentally. He's uh, not produced a win since then. Six times coming on the run at wrong end of the result graphic. Lost a six-rounder on points in April against Armando Casamonica, a fight in Milan. He's used to fighting on the road. And so far, it's all been Frankham in this opening round. Yeah, Petronich, he's on a survival mission straight away here. He's starting to get hurt to the body. Again, a very dominant display from Frankham. Setting the attacks up well behind that lead hand. Just showing that, that little fate there to the head. And then whips the shots downstairs. Well, there's not a lot coming back from Petronich. And you wonder whether or not he can get through four rounds here because he's constantly, seemingly, on the receiving end of these attacks. But I do like the way, and I'm sure people watching on a degree, the way in which Frank Amethly goes from head to body and he's got his man going a little bit here. Referee's going to have to keep a close look at this, Kieran McCann, because there are some big shots going in from Frankham, and still more than 20 seconds remaining in this opening period, and that was coming, down he goes. Brilliant sustained pressure there from Frankham, just kept the attack going. Petronich goes down, might have been a little shove to actually that pushed him down, but before that, Frankham on that front foot will not let his man off the hook. And it's going for the stoppage. Last few seconds of the opening round. Petronich will bravely try and get through to the bell, and he just about makes it. But I tell you what, just about. Big, big round for Josh Franco. Take a look in a moment at some of the action from that opening round. Here we go, Richie. Yeah, tremendous work. Just keeps the attack going. Head and body switching the attack. Setting the attack up again there with the lead hand, and then just follows up with the, the punches downstairs. Good right hand there, and this is where he really thought that he was going to get the stoppage. And just a little shove to, to the back of the head uh, on Petronich there, who I think was going down anyway. But this is tremendous stuff from Frankham. Going for the stoppage, switching the attack. Head to body, body to head, whipping the uppercuts through, right hands over the top, then he goes downstairs. Yeah, that was a, a very, very dominating round. He kind of crumbled down, didn't he, after on the receiving end of that barrage of punches. Well, can he go much further? It's four-rounder, we're going now into round two. Frankham in the yellow shorts, the man from Reading. And straight away, back on the front foot and looking to unload and looking to get his man out of here. Yeah, it's just about maintaining that gap now and just picking his shots. But yeah, again, on that front foot, going for the stoppage. And Petronich, yeah, he's running here. Frankham's friends and family at ringside and in the crowd. He's a popular fighting figure and they're getting excited about what they're seeing. You can sustain this sort of work rate for four rounds. Tell you what, that'll be going some surely to goodness after the huge effort he's put in in that first round and continuing here in the second. Danger that he's going to punch himself out and the referee saying, don't pull your man down, don't pull on the back of the head. Yeah, again, very good display from Frank and big shots going in. Probably needs to put threes and fours together, John, now. You just make... Again, dragging round the back of the head, and again for the second time, a little warning from Kieran McCann. Of course, that's not allowed.
body shots are what's done it for Petronich so far. Yeah, that's the shot that he needs now, is that little right up a good, just through it there, right through the guard, through the gap, going for it here, yes, yeah. this is it, the referee's seen enough. Yeah, he's seen enough, and that's it. Franken gets the stoppage, up on the ropes, celebrating, and you can see the reaction of his friends, of his fans. And Josh Franken gets another win, and that's the first stoppage in four, first time he's put a man out inside the distance. Yeah, it was a good display there from um, Franken, right from the word go. I thought he set up his attacks very well, went forward, behind that jab, switched the attacks, brought the uppercuts through the middle, targeted the body. Petronich was on, he was sort of surviving, John, from very early on in the contest, he felt the power from Frankham and didn't really want to know. Well, let's take a look again at the finish. It was all Frankham from midway in the opening round, and it was just a question of how long, really, that Petronich was going to survive. And Kieran McCann saw him go down and said, yep, that's enough, that's it, good night, we'll finish it right there. Yeah, and that was the shot that he needed, that little right up good through the, through the guard, because Petronich started to really cover up, tucking the elbows in, keeping the hands nice and high, trying to block the shots, but it was just literally volume from Frankham. The barrage of punches, Petronich eventually just caves in too much, the referee had, had, had seen enough and that was the right decision, but again, a real impressive display from young Joshua Frankham. Yeah, good stuff. Spectacular stuff. Didn't, in all honesty, have a huge amount to beat, I don't think, but what he did, he did very well, and here comes confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time of 1 minute and 37 seconds in the second round, your referee, Kieran McCann, calls a halt to this contest. Therefore, your winner by RSC and still undefeated, Joshua Franken! RSC being referee stops the contest, and he did absolutely right, because Frank Franken produced a very dominant performance, Joe. Well, Callum, these Franken boys, they're full of confidence, aren't they? That was his first stoppage in four professional fights. Impressed? Uh, yeah, I was very impressed. It was a very good performance. Um, as you say, it's his first stoppage, and I think you could see from the start he was looking for it, and the pure volume of shots, the speed of shots, his opponent just couldn't deal with it. And You know, he's going to have tougher tests than that in the future, but that was a very good display. That was his first foreign opponent as well, so uh, a nice step up for him there. Super welterweight. Power, tools, does he have enough for you? Yeah, he has it all, you know, he looked like he had it all there. And he's only a young kid if he's 22, so he's got his man strength to come yet. He's got loads of developing to do, and he's only going to get better. He's only going to get stronger, and he's going to get more power. Absolutely. Well, he's uh, trained by Wayne Batten. Do you think that Wayne will be happy with that? Yeah, how can you not be? He did nothing wrong, you know. It was a great display, you know. He, he showed the power, he showed speed, he, he showed aggression, he showed everything. Well, let's uh, take a look back at the fight. So, round one, he opened strong, didn't he? A flurry of punches already. Yeah, he, I mean, the guy, the, the opponent, was um, he was trying to survive it, but there was no way he was going to survive four rounds of that. He was he was on the back foot from the start, and as you see here, he was really putting the pressure on, and, and say the pure volume of punches, he just couldn't deal with it. And Matija Petronic absolutely saved by the bell here with that flurry of punches, uh, but he is a volume puncher, and that power just kept on coming into round two. It'll be nice if he can keep that volume going for 10 rounds when he gets to title fights. Um, you know, he might have to slow it down a little bit then, but that, now that was good. But a great learning contest for uh, him, first foreign opponent. Exactly, and he'll take a lot of confidence from that, you know, getting his first stoppage win and an overseas opponent coming over. So but they don't come over just to lie down, but he had no other choice. 